Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to yield three minutes to the gentlelady from Tennessee, the Vice Chair of the Energy and Commerce Committee, Ms. Blackburn. The gentlelady from Tennessee is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I thank Chairman Pitts for his diligence on this effort and on behalf of the American people to allow them the choice and the options that they are seeking in their health care. You know, my colleague is concerned that we are looking at repeals and that we are looking at replacements, and we are looking at allowing choice and options for Americans. And we're going to continue to do that because what we have found, Mr. Chairman, what we have found is that premiums are rising. In my state, they're going to go up another 18 to 20 percent this year. We have an insurance product in the marketplace that many of our constituents tell us is too expensive to afford. We are seeing narrowed networks. People have an insurance card, but guess what? They don't have access to the queue. They can't see the doctor. They can't see the doctor. We're hearing from our hospitals that they are seeing their emergency rooms crowded. So yes, indeed, I rise in strong support of H.R. 3522, the Employee Health Care Protection Act. It is the right thing to do. You know, if you like your health care plan, under this bill, you would be able to keep your health care plan. We would be helping the president to fulfill a promise that he broke. Let's get back on track and let's fulfill that promise. This is what the American people want. Right now, by the administration's own admission, these aren't my numbers, it's the administration's. Up to 80% of the small business health plans would not make the Obamacare cut because they are not government compliant. Now, the operative word here is they're not government compliant. Government is forcing people into a plan that they don't want, don't like, can't afford. Now, this is the administration admitting this, admitting this. They're taking away options and choice in the marketplace. We have heard from small business owners all across our districts who are struggling to find ways to provide health insurance to their employees and still manage to stay in business. What they're looking for is a way to provide jobs and increase wages. And Obamacare is making it more and more difficult. We have heard from our constituents about how their insurance premiums and their co-payments are escalating. The complaints they have from employees because they don't like the Obamacare plans. And we have heard that they do not understand why they are forced into purchasing government compliant insurance which does not meet their needs. We'll yield an additional minute. Mr. Chairman, H.R. 3522, the Employee Health Care Protection Act, will provide some relief to the small business community by allowing them to maintain their current health insurance plans. If you like the health insurance plan that you have, you would be able to keep it. It is fulfilling a promise. It is what small business employers want. It is what the American people want. I urge passage of this legislation. I yield back.